This message is for the foolish virgins, so you don't burn with the tear. The Lion of the tribe of Judah is here. So when you're done with theatrics, you should take note. I come serving the Most High King, and on the menu is goat. You got me falling. Wish I could lie The field is being prepared for harvest. So the spirit is separating the wheat from the tare. The wheat are firmly planted in the spirit, while the tare are being tossed to and fro. Thus saith Yahuwah Elahika, the enemy has duplicated my express image down to the letter of my name. This includes the comforter, the living spirit of truth, whom I have sent to teach you all things that you know not. Therefore you have no need that mankind teach you anything. The spirit of error mimics the living spirit of truth, and were it possible, even the very elect would be deceived. <laughs> Satan is the prince of the airwaves. Therefore he also uses the news and social medias to feed his lies and distractions daily to those unaware. Ultimately, the spirit of error will cause many to label themselves as a watchman so that they can broadcast to the masses Satan's agenda, never hearing a word from my mouth but relying on their own convictions. Got me They pay attention just at the sheer mention of whatever agenda he is pushing that day. Whether it be the jab, politics, gun control, Black Lives Matter, gay pride, World War III, or whatever he wants to occupy your brain with that day. After absorbing it, the spirit of error kicks in and causes you to share it with everybody, convincing you it's your job to share it so that you can save the world or at least one so technically you're caught up in satan's agenda pushing his plans you have become so preoccupied with the world and satan's agenda that you cannot hear the voice of yahuwah when he speaks nor can you recognize his words coming through the mouth of his prophets because it doesn't agree with the spirit in you therefore you wouldn't share it if your life depended on it nor will you believe it. The wise virgins will listen to instructions and be ready and waiting when the bridegroom appears because that day will not come upon us unaware. Yom Kippur 2024 But the foolish virgins will not listen so that day will come upon them like a thief in the night because they will still be caught up in Satan's distractions trying to find oil. So Yahusha will have been here and gone before they wake up to realize they were left behind to endure his wrath with the non-believers the same. I, I know the truth.